How are his daddy? S. S. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally okay with this. Um, yeah, Harry's dad is fantastic. S. He is an S as well. He... Okay, I want to stop us for a second. Because <laughs> I think all of us might say S or A. But let's just take a moment and acknowledge that his second episode is probably the funniest in the whole series. And is that influencing <laughs> why we're putting him so high? He's a softy underneath all that scary Yakuza I... facade. Steffi, what do you think? He's one of my favorite character types, to one thing, initially. But that was just, oh, that's cool. I like the character. I love the mo uh, like gangster mafia aesthetic, too. But but that was just initial impressions. But as soon as the episode comes in, come on. Like, the things he says, he's like... Also, if, you, if I remember episode. correctly, if you scroll up to the top of the tier list, isn't there <laughs> the Marry Me tier list? <laughs> if Morty <laughs> wasn't available, I would take Kasunoda then. I want to get rid of that. <laughs> Because that's ridiculous. Like, there's so many people in this show that you'd want to marry. Hell, we want to marry a teacup girl. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's true. I am down for at least A. I vote still with S. Uh, yes. See, uh, yeah. All right, well, all right, all right. right. Oops, whoa, whoa, wait, that's... Wait, no, whoa, no, 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 wait. That was, a, that was absolutely wrong what just happened. All right, anyways. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. I will say in terms of Dick characters, I do love her design, but she has no depth whatsoever. <laughs> grandma. She's not grandma, but she's the person that's in charge of Tomaki's estate. A tier. It's like she's in one of my favorite episodes and she made for one episode. She made a good impression. She has as much screen time, if not less than this Dr. Dad right here. <laughs> and you said A? Because of the manga, like she's like because out of okay, this list so of but this is the thing like, we're talking the anime the though. If we talk manga, then she's easily A, but just the anime, <laughs> I'm B. I I'm I'm down for B. I can go with that. But like okay, manga, I'm totally with you, super A. But the anime, she literally only has like a single scene and the phone call in the last episode, pretty much. Which is a shame, and we need to reboot ASAP. We're yes, saying. yes. <laughs> oh um, my gosh. Speaking of Bossa Nova say his... a tier for him because it's like he's a good character he's not casanova though he's got an interesting background too you know he kind of owes bossa nova casanova with help or whatever personally b That's like it. i don't i don't feel comfortable putting him on the tier of these other people <laughs> like mm. keep in mind we're putting this character over the child <laughs> no b just leave it at b okay honey's brother d mm. Ooh. anime was Damn it. All right. I um, was teetering and tottering between B and C. Um, if both of you are firmly D, I'll do it. Otherwise, generous C. But, like, I liked him, like, and his conflict with uh, just Honey or whatever. And his episode isn't that great. It's one of the weaker episodes. But, like, he's trying honey, to be what his brother that. isn't kind yeah. of a thing. So, <laughs> daddies, kill his dad. I am kind of how Hannah was feeling about the house, the Tomaki's house person. And even though this guy's on screen for a little bit of time, I think he is super in character with the father of Kyoya Otari kind of a thing. The anime makes him way more of a dick than he is mm -hmm. in the manga. But, um, but the thing is that it kind of goes with, you know, why Kyoya is the way he is. I would put him in B. I'd That's my B. first thought, B. Yeah, B. Tomoki's dad. <laughs> Just say C, because out of the two dads, it's like, who's the first one I'm going to remember automatically? Completely. Kyoya's. I would agree, completely. Kyoya's dad is much more memorable in, in the anime. C, yeah? Yeah, C. I agree. Childhood <sighs> friend status. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Let's get down oh, to business. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, is there anybody here amongst the main cast that is a B tier? No. This is the most colorful oh. cast of main characters I personally feel I've ever seen. They are all minimum A tier, if not more. This is where it gets hard. So, basically, we're going to be in these three areas. We'd probably put all of them in Marry Me. So, it's like, what the hell do we do? Well, Hannah wants, Hannah wants this. <laughs> Hannah wants this. Why? Um, he is there's, there's a type. There's the clearly a type here. <laughs> he, 
set out the pathway for basically the gentle giant, the silent bodyguard type that I'm into. Scene where he shared the strawberry with Hari. Ah! First, I want to say, like, why I love Oron so much, because it's like the first reverse harm, like, yes. show I've ever seen where every of the main cast, like, I like them pretty much equally, and then only certain ones I liked more, and then as I grew up, I liked certain ones differently. Mori, first time watching, I loved him, yeah, from the, since the first episode, so... This is annoying, because all, all of them are S-tier, so it's like, we're basically gonna be putting them in an order, maybe, so... <laughs> maybe that's what we do to make this interesting but no. i am like an a plus like uh, to me i am like an a plus on maury personally because because he doesn't talk much he doesn't like, talk at he's... all and like there's very few like developments with him in comparison to the rest of the cast so like while he is absolutely the silent type he gets the least mm -hmm. development out of everybody the development he gets is from other people basically s let's settle on s <laughs> i'd say s yeah okay honey marry me moving on um <laughs> just kidding <laughs> so this is where my bias comes into play that honey is my favorite member of the host club so hannah was gushing about maury i'll gush about honey as a character honey is the funnest he is just so ridiculous so much and the second you find out about his grumpy side i was like this character's fun I'm still in that S tier. I don't know. <laughs> but, I'd say S tier as well. I'd say S. He but, does have all, but how about this? Above or answer. below Mori? <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, maybe above Mori because he really. Gets, as much as I hate to admit it, he does. You get to see more from him more than Mori. Mori's just kind of there. No, I I agree. I really have nothing to say against it. So kill you. Another babe. marry me. Marry me. <laughs> I'll, That's a marry me. I mean, me. I mean, I almost am down. Mm. Like, Kilia, at first, he was my least favorite member of the club. I'm like, really? at first, at first, he was. But as I watched the show more and more, and then I became more of an adult, especially, it was his flashback episode. I did an entire yeah, video about that say, episode. You've got to notice more of like his relationship with Tomiki is like the best. Yeah, <laughs> and he literally keeps the club in line. Tomiki. His funny moments mm -hmm. is how much power he he actually has over the club too. So comedy, writing, and sure, the man appeal. I'm down for marry me. So let's let's just say this is. This is Hikaru, okay? So, like, my best friend, she was, like, all for Mori, and I was about Hikaru more than Karu. But then as I, like, finished the manga, I was like, oh, I feel like Karu is such a great person. But yeah. in terms of the story, he always, he always like, keeps things to himself. And yes. he just likes to be on the sidelines and observe things and Karu's, observe his mother. Karu's definitely so, like, the smarter one in terms of emotional Karu's like the best big brother yeah. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Karu um, has that emotional maturity to him, which yeah. as a kid, I liked Karu a lot more than Hikaru for a while. Hikaru especially, but th these two are like constantly the girl's favorites, I, I feel like, all I hear. So I'm happy to finally hear a conversation that they don't instantly are just marry me. It's annoying. If this was manga version, Wait, I would who is this? Because I'm seeing who is this. <laughs> <laughs> who is this? <laughs> I guess I guess I swapped it. I, I said Is this isn't this Karu or this is Ka I guess Hikaru. this one's Karu. It's Karu. I can tell by the picture. Trust me. How about S? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, S yeah I agree. S. And because Hikaru is, is, is marry me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I feel like Hikaru is more immature, and that's See, why as I grew up, it's like not my favorite anymore. with more Kiyoya. <laughs> this is the interesting part: is that I'm much more of a uh, Karu stand because uh, I mm -hmm. just I just like his emotional maturity, and Hikaru is just he gets so dense sometimes. I think uh, it's just more entertainment uh, entertaining for me to watch. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Hannah, should we? Put him <laughs> right on the same. I'm gonna say S tier because I liked Kaoru a little more than Hikaru personally. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're both so. Okay. So so Han and I are pretty much so. They're we'll, gonna we'll, stay a pair. Okay. I'm we'll, fine. We'll keep them as a pair. They're 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 even there. Mm -hmm. Oh God, which one do we do first? <laughs> Let's do Haruhi. Main character of the show. 
Marry me. Marriage. <laughs> all right, we're moving on. <laughs> I think we're all three in agreement. Marry me. Because she is just, it's it's her just, she could be so plain sometimes. That that's a part of her that makes her so endearing. And yet she is so, so like emotionally intelligent of people around her. It's crazy. You do see her grow throughout the show. Like she usually, she just wanted to keep to herself and study at first. Yes. But the host club kind of got her to go out socialize enjoy life a little bit now the question is is she above or below kyoya <laughs> i'm gonna have to say above kyoya yes, above i'm down yeah i'm down what am i saying she's literally one of my two best girls of all time all right moving on <laughs> <laughs> um marry me marriage Steph, yeah. honey was originally my favorite sure. and then as time went on Tamaki started to stand out more and more. Same with Kyoya. Like, they both started to stand out more and more to me. Yeah, this is literally the dude that founded my motto, Big Geek Beep Brow Be Awesome, essentially, and the motto of everything we do. And he is an absolute dumbass. <laughs> the question is, where is he? <laughs> he is... has so much heart. He has a huge he heart. He has a That's huge why. heart. He's so comedic, but yet he has, like, the biggest heart of anybody in the show. When I watched this when I was a lot younger, I didn't like Tamaki that much because I just thought he mm. was way Obnoxious. too fl way too Obnoxious. flirty <laughs> and I was just like, Stop. but the older I get now, I'm just like, it's like the flirting can be a little much, but I'm also just like, oh, he's such a lovable himbo. He is. <laughs> like, like just seeing him at first, he's like, oh, okay, he's just a stereotypical lazy ladies man. But when he's with the club specifically, that's him at his peak. I might have him above Haruhi. But... Oh, 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 oh. oh, let's not go too far now. <laughs> <I'm> like... <laughs> I like a smidget. So, Steffi, you are firmly Haruhi, right? Yeah. Damn it. This comes down to me. But, but I'm like the opposite. Like, I'm firmly Haruhi, but I... Tomiki's just a smidget below her. Not that smidget. This sucks because, as I said, Haruhi is like my best girl of all time next to Ruki. Ruki. <laughs> and Tamaki is like the founder of so much that I admire. Oh, they're, 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 you know what? They're the twins. They're the twins. <laughs> if I had to say that, I think I would probably say Tamaki by a smidge. And uh, with that, that ends our tier no. list. I like, let's just give a shout out though to Harhi's dad and Casadona for being. <laughs> on the levels of the big boys. <laughs>